hello guys welcome back to my tutorial in this video we're going to look at the first topic which is the the syntax yes the syntax so as you may see um this here mql5 is very similar to the c plus plus language the only difference is that there is no address um uh, arithmetic there is no go to operator there is an anonymous enumeration which can't be declared then there is no multiple inheritance but um yes that's basically it's it's it is very much related to c plus plus so if you do know how to program in c plus plus this right here should be easier for you to understand but then again for those who don't uh, understand don't stress don't worry i'm also new here so we're going to learn this together let's let's, let's let us go on to mql5 or metatrader and check where we can get our editor so as you can see here by tools you have to click on um it is meta quotes language editor or f4 then it should pop up any moment from now yes let's see let's see let's see so yes there you have it oh this is some text already printed here <laughs> let me just get rid of these um Actually, let me close this right here. No, won't save changes. So this is basically how it is, right? Now, to create a new project, let's see. You just click on File, and then you say New Project. And then you can see that here, it gives us a wide variety of options, choices to choose from. So let's have a look at what the template is about. And actually, let's have a look at this one, Generate. Okay, next. So as you can see, it takes in something here. So if I just type a name, I click next. I can't click next until I add something here. Then it's going to generate it for me. But I don't want this one. I want template where, where I can be able to make, add things myself uh, and all those. So let's just name this our first or my first. My first EA. Yeah, my first EA. So let's go to next. These are event handlers. We're not going to look at this uh, in this video. I'll explain more about these in the later videos to come. And then these are still um, event handlers. We're just going to not tick any of those. So yes, see here you can choose an icon for it. And yeah. Yeah, you can put a website if you have one and then you describe what it does and stuff so for now let's get back to this right here so i'm going to close this because i don't really need it for now um these are comments you see these are comments which can be deleted let's see if it's going to affect um if you if you if you run this yeah there is there is no problems there so okay <laughs> it took us back to the uh, meta trader so let's uh, get back to it so let me click on stop yes let's click on stop so now as you can see it's not affecting our there's nothing affected here there's no errors so it's fine we can remove them even these here can be removed even these so basically these are comments yes so we can remove these and then we have these now yeah these are the so let's just make it look ah, they put back those comments but it's fine so in this video i'm going to explain um the first things we're going to look at we've already discussed this one here let's look at comments right so let me get back to this let me get back to our editor so as you can see we have different types of comments so i'm just going to make space here at the bottom so i can type that out the first type of commenting is um commenting style is the the single line commenting style so this here anything you type here as long as you've put the two um forward slashes 
anything you type on this line as you can see it's gray it's commented you see so the computer uh, will overlook this now the next type of commenting we have is the multi-line so there one you start with uh with a forward slash a forward slash and an asterisk so let's find it there so anything that's typed here even if you go to the next line you see it's gray now let's look at the single line with this one right here the next line is in black now showing you that it's not commented out because this only caters for the line anything written on the line itself so as you can see here it doesn't cater for the next lines but this one it cates anything you type after that line or on that line is commented out now for you to close this comment now you still use what an asterisk and a forward slash now anything else that you write after that you can see it's not commented out so yes guys that is the commenting um, these are the two styles of commenting so let us also have a look at what is next on on the thingy uh, so we have comments we have identifiers so an identifier is basically a unique name given to a variable so let's have an example let me just write something in this uh, uh, on tick function so um let's let's just have a look at a string for an example the name i'm going to give to this variable is name name of person so the name i've given to this string is name of person and i'm going to name it sydney so can you see it is basically the container so the, an identifier is the name given to a variable a unique name given to a variable and in, in most cases um, some 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 identifiers are restricted some things you can't use there are certain words that you can't use and they are reserved basically like built in for example if you have a look here we have bull which is boolean right so we have bull we have float we have u int we have char we have int we have u long we have all these all these reserved words now let let us go and see what happens if i type bull so as you can see my container is highlighted in black or actually not highlighted but it is in black the font color now let us let me say string bull can you see it is what highlighted in blue so we can't use this as a as an identifier so for you to use it as an identifier you have to make sure that it is not the same as any reserved words that you can that you can find on this page right here see there is true there is this there is return there is pack there is operator there is input there is static so basically, these we can't use as identifiers. If we are to use them as identifiers, we have to make sure that they are different. So if I want to use bull, for instance, I can just um, maybe type something in front. Let's say A, A bull. But it has to make sense, though. It needs to make sense. Why am I using this? Like, for example, name of person. It makes sense. For the person that's reading the code, they'll understand that, okay, the name of the person is Sydney. So, in this case, if I am to use, um, let's say, um, input, 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 as you can see. So, input already, let's try and change it to a capital I. Yes, so you can see. Changing it to a capital I makes it... Uh, puts it in a black font color but as you can see anything that's highlighted in blue let's get back to the normal input if it's highlighted in blue we can't use it because what it's a reserved word it's a reserved word so yes um that is basically the reserved words and 
uh, as you can see there is more here at the bottom you will have access to these so you'll be able to actually check them out and have a look and in the next video we're going to have a look at data types thank you very much see you in the next video